We were interested in trying to find out when the human-like hearing pattern, which seems to be distinct among all the primates, first emerged in our evolutionary history. Our approach is really the most comprehensive approach out there in the sense that it contemplates many different anatomical features of the ear to predict how these different uh, parts of the ear interact, counterbalance one another, contribute to hearing loss, hearing gain. So it's a much more sophisticated approach than has been taken before. First of all, we've been able to reconstruct an aspect of sensory perception in a fossil human ancestors known as Australopithecus africanus and Paranthropus robustus from South Africa. Both of these fossil forms lived about two million years ago and represent early human ancestors. Uh, we took CT scans of the skulls. We created virtual reconstructions on the computer of the internal structures of the ear that will predict how an organism hears based on these measurements of its ear. We believe our results have implications for early hominin communication, how they communicated. We're not arguing they had language, but we think our results do have implications for how they communicated. And the finding is that this hearing pattern would have been beneficial if you were engaging in short-range vocal communication in an open environment. There was just recently announced a big discovery of some new fossils also in South Africa from a site not too far from the two that we studied where they have found a whole treasure trove of fossils that appear to be some early form of the genus Homo. That might be when this human-like pattern first started emerging. So these would be perfect candidates to study in the future.